Hello friends. In our last session, we saw the Cramer's rule, which is one of the popular way of solving linear equation by using the concept of matrices or more specifically by using the concept of determinants. There is an alternative way of solving linear equation, again using matrices, more popularly known as the inverse method of solving linear equation. Welcome to the session. Let us just see how we can use the concept of inverse matrix to solve linear equation. We have already seen how to calculate an inverse matrix for a square matrices and the concept of minor, cofactor, adjoint and inverse is true only for square matrices. And the inverse method is many times propagated as one of the alternative way of using Cramer's rule. Even though Cramer's rule allow us to use the concept of determinant, inverse method also provides us and one of the easiest way of solving linear equation by using the matrices. Now, if the linear equation can be presented in the form of matrix method which is equal to AX is equals B. We have already seen in when we uh, examine the Cramer's rule, A is the matrix of coefficient, X is the vector of unknowns or what we call the solution vector, while B is the vector of constants. If the given equations can be presented in the form of matrix method AX equals B, then the solution is possible or the X can be calculated by using the inverse or the inverse method X, X equals A inverse into B. So this is the method or this is the formula of using the inverse method for solving linear equation where x which is the vector of unknowns or the solution vector or the solution can be found out by multiplying a inverse with the vector of constants that is we calculate the inverse of the coefficient matrix and multiply it with or the product of a inverse into the vector of constant we can easily find out the solution for our unknowns. Now we will just put a hypothetical example and just show how this is actually possible. Now we have this equation, we have this formula where x equals a inverse into b. Just assume that we have these two linear equation. For example, we have say 4x1 plus 3x2 equals say 28. And 2x1 plus 5x2. 5x2 equals 42. Two equation, two linear equation with the two unknowns. And obviously solution will be possible with two unknowns and two equation. Provided this equation can be converted into a matrix form Ax equals B. Let me just form a, a matrix form of this equation where ax sum e, b equals 4, 3, 2, 5 which is the matrix of coefficient into x which is the solution vector x1, x2 equals the vector of constants which is 28, 42. So what we have? We do have the two linear equation is transformed into the matrix form. We have the matrix A here, we have the matrix A, this is matrix A, this is X, this is B. So equation is converted into matrix form A, X equals B. Now to apply this equation, to apply this formula, to apply the formula of inverse method where X equals A inverse into B. We first need to calculate A inverse and one checkpoint should be remembered here that you can use inverse method 
only for non singular matrices that is for those matrices whose determinants are not zero if the determinants are zero we have already seen while examining the concept of inverse for the singular matrices that is for the those square matrices of which the determinants are zero for those matrices inverse do not exist so you can use the method of inverse only for non singular matrices we will first examine whether our given matrix of coefficient is singular or non singular so let me just remove this equation from our picture let me just remove here let me just calculate the determinant of a determinant of a will be 4 into 5 this cross multiplication minus 2 into 3 which is 20 minus 20 minus 6 which will be equal to 40 so i do have the determinant of a is available so we check that it is a non singular matrix and we can easily apply our equation where x equals a inverse into b so our equation is our equation is x equals a inverse into b so what was a inverse a inverse is nothing but adjoint of a divided by determinant of a we have already calculated the determinant of a as 14 so our next task will be to calculate the adjoint of a now to calculate adjoint of a we first need to calculate the cofactors right hope you remember we examined the case of minor cofactor and adjoint to compute adjoint of a first we need to calculate what we need to form the matrix of cofactors and the transpose of cofactors are known as the adjoint now let us just calculate were here itself let me just calculate the cofactors the cofactor of the cofactor of say 4 will be equal to minus 1 the position of 4 position of 4 is first row first column into its minor which is 5 answer will be 5 again cofactor of 3 will be minus 1 raised to minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2 into this column is removed this row is removed the balance will be 2 will be minus 2 2 into minus 1 answer will be minus 2 cofactor of this element cofactor of 2 equals minus 1 2 raised to 2 plus 1 into 3 into 3 so i have minus 3 as solution and finally the fourth element 5 will be minus 1 raised to minus 1 raised to 2 plus 2 into the minor of 5 which is 4 answer will be 4 so i have what i do have the matrix of cofactors i do have the matrix of cofactors what to put let me put there the matrix of cofactors what was that c i j equals 5 minus 2 minus 3 and 4 so i have the matrix of cofactors so to calculate adjoint we need to find the transpose so adjoint of a equals c i j transpose which will be 5 minus 2 minus 3 and 4 we interchange the rows and columns of the matrix and we calculate the adjoint so we have everything set to have our final solution right we calculated the adjoint adjoint of a is available determinant we already calculated now this now our next, our next task will be just remove him our next task is simply apply this equation i already have a b here so the case will be just apply this equation just apply this equation a inverse a inverse equals adjoint of a into determinant of a that we already had so x equals x equals 
First A inverse. A inverse, we already had A inverse which is adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. So, first we will write the adjoint as 5 minus 3 minus 2, 4 divided by the determinant of A which is 14. So, I have this part of this, this equation is over. A inverse which is adjoint of A divided by its determinant into B. B was our vector of constants which was 28 and 42. So, this, this is our B. So, let me just remove all these things. So, I do have everything set to apply the equation. I have A inverse here. I have A inverse here. This part is the A inverse into B. B is here. So, I just need to multiply this with this vector, this matrix with this vector and divided by 14, I will get this solution. So, just apply this equation. Yeah. X equals, X equals, I have, will have two solution. How to multiply? Multiply first row with first column and add the product, but do remember to divide it with 14 because 14 is here. So, divided by a determinant of A. So, answer will be 5 into 28, 5 into 28 plus within bracket minus 3 into 42 whole divided by 14. And the second part will be first row, first column, now second row, second column minus 2 into 28 plus 4 into 42 whole divided by 14. So, solution will be, the solution for this matrix will be, here you will get 1 as an answer and here you will get 8 as an answer. Here will be 140 plus minus 126 divided by 14, that is 14 divided by 14 equals 1. Here you will get minus 56 plus 168 divided by 14, that is 112 by 14, answer will be equal 8. So, our solution for this equation is x1 equals x1 equals 1 and x2 equals 8. So, this is our final solution and this is how we solve linear equation using inverse utilizing the formula or utilizing the inverse method or formula where x equals a inverse into b. Again one checkpoint, the, you can apply the inverse method only for non-singular matrices. If the determinant is 0, obviously you cannot undertake a division here and calculate the uh, vector of unknowns or the value of the unknowns. So, this is how we use the inverse method for solving a linear equation and this method can easily be extended to a three variable case. If we do have a three variables x1, x2 and x3 or x, y and z, you can easily apply the, an extension form of this where we will have x1, x2 as well as x3. So, we need to kind of find out the determinant for a 3 by 3 matrix, inverse for a 3 by 3 matrix and multiplied with vector of constant where we will have an additional value here. So, this is how we use the method, uh, inverse method of solving linear equation. Hope that this session are useful to you. So, until we meet this time, stay safe, happy learning.